So let me guess, you guys are searching for other ways to make passive income. Don't worry, I will show you guys. Yo, my name is Akil Airi. In today's video, I will show you guys how to make your own digital wall art so that you can sell it on Etsy. I will show you how to generate it on Mid Journey and also I will show you how to create the image on Canva. If you like this video, please make sure to smash that like button and without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, first of all, I will show you the most important part of the video, which is creating the wall art digital site this is for you guys to decide on what size would your digital wall art to be so there are five types of sizes that you can use which is the 3 by 4 ratio 11 point 11 times 14 inches 4 by 5 ratio 2 by 3 ratio and also 5 by 7 ratio for each of the ratio this is when you're going to use canva later on the video for each ratio they have their own size so you can you guys can refer all of these sizes so you can determine which size that you would like to create your own wall art oh and one thing that you guys have to keep note is that every size of this wall art have their own quality that you have to maintain which is 300 dpi i can't explain what is 300 dpi but i can refer you guys to this youtube channel may arroyo she will explain what is 300 dpi well actually 300 dpi is needed when you want to keep your image quality as best as possible okay but one thing one section that is most important is this right here that i'm showing you guys so each ratio have their own pixel that you have to use to make sure the quality image of your art would be the best all right as you know mid journey will generate an image for us which is a low image low quality image but don't worry i will show you how to increase the image quality okay guys here we are in the second part of the video where i'm going to show you guys some wall art that you can get inspiration from which is we are going to open up xz first okay we're going to decide what type of wall art that we're going to create for me i have already something in my mind which is the flowers wall art okay i want to create flowers wall art because i think this type of design is really beautiful and i think there's many potential customers but make sure if you guys want to sell something you have to make your own research you use some extension to check out their sales but for now i'm just going to show you an example when to create a flowers wall art design and you guys can scroll it there's so many types of flowers or wall design that people create and mostly of them they are only digital art and some of them included with their own canvas so as an example here we got here garden flower print floral instant art okay we're gonna open this so basically they are selling their own wall art a digital wall art that you have to download so you, as you guys can see here digital file type 5 gf pack and it only costs uh, they sell around 2.49 us dollars and they have around 2200 reviews and that is quite a lot so in today's video i will show you guys how to create a flowers wall art that you guys can create by yourself using mid journey now it is time to generate our art image in mid journey now open up your discord.com i mean discord app application we then open up mid journey then choose any general general image generation here and then i'm just going to choose any which is general 7 it doesn't matter what general you open up so i'm going to open up general 7 and then you're going to make up your own prompt okay so what the first thing you have to do is just put in this thing here i don't know what this is called and then just type in imagine and then just press tap and then it will bring us to this prompt area that you can put in if you guys want to create a watercolor for me i would like to put in watercolor art uh, maybe watercolor art and then put a comma here and then put what type of flowers that you want it to be i think sunflower would be great so we're gonna put sunflower yellow and maybe a dusty yellow color and comma what else maybe put white background to make sure that background is white uh, i think that's good if you guys want it to be more detailed you can put in more of your in your prompt so let's say you have completed your prompt what's left to do is just to press space bar here and then put two dashes when you put two dashes 
now it's time to put your ratio size and you guys can refer on this image here you got 3 by 4 and everything so for now I want to make a 2 by 3 ratio wall art so I'm gonna open up back my mid journey and then just put 2 by 3 ratio oh I forgot sorry you got to put AR first and then you're gonna put space and then just put a size which is for me 2 by 3 ratio and then just press enter okay we got 4 image here and I think I prefer image 1 which is not too messy and also image 4 but I think I will take image 1 for now if you want image 1 just press U1 if you want image 2 U2 and so on and so on and for me I like image 1 so I'm just going to press U1 and tada so here is the image that we have chosen and I think the image is quite good so what you have to do left is just to press a web here so that we can download the image so it will bring us to this web page here and what's left is just to press save with a prompt and then the image will be downloaded you can open the image you can see it by yourself so this is our image that we have downloaded after you guys have downloaded the image there's one thing that you guys have to do which is we have to upscale the image to a better quality because Mid Journey give us a low quality image and one thing that you have to do is just open up Google and then just put in upscale.media okay upscale.media what is this for this is a AI generator that helps us generate our image so we're gonna upload our image here I will upload the sunflower image and here we are the image that have been upscaled by this website which is I choose upscale to four times because I want my picture to be maximum quality and then enhance quality I put it on and then what's left to do is just press download and yeah the picture has been downloaded after that we are going to make the wall art itself what we have to do is just open up canva and then you're gonna open up create a design here and custom size so we're gonna pick the height and the height of the wall art which is if you see in the image here I want to make a 2 by 3 ratio and then I think I'm going to I'm going to make the largest image which is a 24 inches times 36 inches so I'm just going to change this into inches and then the white I'm going to put 24 the height will be a 36 after you put in all the details so just press create a new design and then it will give us a blank page here that you can customize your wall art oh and one thing that I forgot to tell you guys I will show you guys how to check your dimension picture dimension okay what you have to do is just click on the image that you have downloaded from the upscale.media here all you have to do is just press a right click go to properties and then just go to details and then it will give us the size of the dimension of the image it is 3500 times 5300 so it's just I'm just sharing some knowledge for you guys to know so now all you have to do here is just upload the image so just click on the image and then it will come out to the page here and then maybe make it resize put it on the left corner and maybe a drag a little bit until full and here we are we completed maybe you can add some elements according to your taste but I like it just like this minimalistic so after you have done all the image here all what's left to do is just press in the top right corner here share and then go to download and then there's two types PNG and also PDF print I think you guys can download both of this version PNG and PDF and then compile it in a folder before you upload to Etsy so for me I will download PDF and then I will download the PNG file okay guys now it's time for the last part of the video which is we are going to make our own markup image uh, first of all you need to do is just go to canva and then go to create a design here and then go to custom size and your width and height will be 2700 times 2025 pixel where do I get this information it says here that 2700 pixel wide and 2025 pixel tall is the best sizing for Etsy product photos but it depends if you guys want other size 
you can also do that but I'll choose this size so all what's left to do is just press create a new design and then all you have to do is just upload your mock-up picture and this is will be my mock-up picture you guys must be asking where do you get this mock-up picture well you can get this on creative fabrica uh, you can get this creative fabrica let me show you so let's say a mock-up for wall art and it will give us so many pictures of mock-up here that you can edit your own image in the Canva and also you can use Etsy itself because Etsy sell digital art and they sell a mock-up picture so an example here we're gonna put a mock-up wall art and there are all many types of example here that you can buy from them Okay, now let's continue with this mock-up picture. So I've uploaded my mock-up and then I've gonna upload the image of my sunflower. And then just resize it accordingly to make sure. Oh, oh sorry. Just size accordingly. And yeah, so we got my picture here and it looks quite nice. <laughs> So to make sure it's all nice and steady, maybe you can edit something. Uh, let's say we're gonna put a shape here and make it a little bit beautiful, make it a uh, little bit brown. Maybe put it down here and then going to put text. Why do I have to put text? Well, the reason is because I want to tell that it's just a digital download because I want to inform people that it's just digital download. It's not included with the image itself. So I'm gonna put digital download and then maybe resize it a little bit smaller I, yeah I think that's good so yeah after all of your edits are done what's left to do is just press share here and then just download the image PNG image and yeah so we've downloaded the image we've completed the image and yeah so I guess that is all for today's video I hope you guys like it and if you do please make sure to leave a like and if you want to see more please do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye see ya